Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to, you know, paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, the, what, what, what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Libra, Librans, you really want me to look at your months to months Zodiac, star sign, thingy bob, eh? I'm tired. <laughs> Just messing, give me one second. Hello. Now finally, let's look into your star sign. We're looking at the star sign of Libra, months by months by months by months. And um, yeah, let's start with January 2021. Here we go, this is the star sign of Libra. For Librans, the year starts off quite cool because in January what the guides are saying to you, the wait is over. The difficulties of 2020, and it was a bloody awful year all around, <clears throat> are finally coming to a close. And you've waited enough, your ideas are now being heard and seen. And as a matter of fact, if this is for you about the new venture, what the guides are showing me is a, is a rum, which means it's an animal that hangs on a cliff on two legs and won't fall. So they're saying to you is, you have proven yourself enough to yourself, so don't, don't go into doubt at all. It won't serve you well. Do not go into doubt. Really, really important. And then <coughs> just go for whatever it is you had planned to do. Don't wait for signs. Don't think like, oh, I don't know if we have another lockdown. So be it. Right there, if there is another lockdown, yes, it can, think, it can slow things down. But if your mind is with your intention, the energy still goes there and therefore makes it happen quicker. Right? So January is a kick-ass month for um, Librans. This is the month where you're like, yeah, I can feel it. I've been through a lot and I am going where I feel I should be going. Right? Or... Easier said, where I want to go. Go for it. It's your life. You make it happen. That was your January, Libra's. Going into February 2021. Right. So, as you know, um, just because January was a kick-ass month, that doesn't mean you swim in money in February. Things always take time. This is just the name of the game, if that makes sense, energy travels, and then opportunities have to come together. <coughs> so things take time. And what the guides are saying to you in February, if you watched your actions in January, you will have noticed you, had, you have made progress already. Right? So don't go into panic. Again, it's the second time now in two months that they're mentioning the word, you know, panic and don't go into self-doubt. That's apparently, and I'm not sure if this will continue or not, but that's what I'm hearing already. This is one of the worst things you can do, is to um, think about failure when there's no indication whether or not you, you will fail at all. 
right? Also remember your leaflets, right? And it is a sign that is associated with balance. So you will be fine. You always have balanced things out. You will be fine. It's also associated with intellect, right? Which I can attest to because my mom was Libra and she made the most intelligent son. Luckily, it wasn't me. Okay, here we go. Just messing. <laughs> so we have made a lot of, uh, of, of progress already. <coughs> and therefore, in February, they're saying to you, trust, go into trust. Use the, they show me the hawk, which is the, the animal that uses the upthrust of the air to glide. So what they're saying is, if you just go with the flow, do not go into panic. And again, also important, do not overthink. You have made steady progress. Things are coming. Okay, so don't worry. Let's look at March 2021. We're looking at the star sign of Libra. Yeah. That's brilliant. Because in March you have the butterfly and the elephant. <coughs> Which means things are ready. Things are absolutely ready for you to kick off. Always a, always a but, isn't there? Your but, I don't mean that one, but your but is remembering everything the other animal that you've been given here is is the elephant and so that message means you remember everything and sometimes remembering how things didn't quite work can be used to prepare yourself but you are a different person you have learned so much since and because you are different things that somehow got stuck last time you have found a way already to make them unstuck and your intuition will tell you if whatever your aim is, if that's really too much for this point in time, you will know. Right? So what they're saying is don't go into memory banks and like, oh yeah, I've been there. Right? That does not work. So far, in the March, March of months, months of March, yeah, I can't talk, months of March, <laughs> we haven't heard anything about relationships yet. I'm not saying there won't be any, I'm just suspicious when this will come in. <coughs> because the first three months of the year clearly are about you sorting out what it is you want to do with your life. And this is also important in that sense, because when the guides are pushy and saying like, well, in three months we haven't changed topic at all, then they're asking you to not put up with work conditions that make you feel unappreciated and unwelcome okay so that's actually a good thing so the 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 the, 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 the imagery that they give me is all about spiritual people who are being self-employed but that's also just because um my guides obviously <laughs> you know and i work for spirit so that makes sense uh, for them to not show me a plumber no offense to plumbers we need you <coughs> but it is important to realize this this is all about you doing what you came here to do, right? That was your March, Librans, going into April 2021. Calm control to make your tongue. Oh, I shouldn't sing that because every time I sing a song of, of, of an artist, just because it comes into my head, um, YouTube tells me, ooh, copyrighted material, now you cannot monetize this, this um, video. I'm not monetizing anything. This is entirely free service, right? I don't want your bloody money. Use it on something you really want, okay? And if you are in town, invite me to dinner. Okay, just messing. But the point is, um, every time I think something stupid, I get this message from YouTube that I cannot monetize. And it's like, I'm not monetizing anything. So, <coughs> and apparently, I just shouldn't, shouldn't sing. But things come into my head. You know what can I tell you? <coughs> April, April 2021 for the star sign of Libra. You have the beaver and the buffalo. Clearly, this is a time for you, this still is work. This is a time for you where things are finally happening. April 2021, things are finally happening. It feels to me that you, you get your first clients, you get good contacts. And what the guides are saying is, you are the builder of bridges. So it is, in a way, you are the person everybody, everything and everybody focuses around. So use it. Be the leader. You know you can be, right? So call the shots. It will only be in your favor because you're not a person, Libra, who is selfish. 
So you're not going to say like, oh, what, what, what would that do to me? How can I use it? That's not how you, how you, how you are. If you work in partnership with someone, you're fair, right? That's important. The guys haven't said you're impartial though. <laughs> it's always something. I'm just messing. Okay. All they're saying to you is it's really important to realize in, in April, opportunities have begun to really manifest. There's people around you. Things are on the up. And you are the builder of bridges. At the same time, because there are now things coming your way, you know, you might run a circle and you look into a venue, you know, whatever it is you're doing, all they're saying to you is that it's also important as you are in conversation with others to put boundaries in place. Don't compromise on your vision. In the end, it will not be worth it. Do not compromise on your vision. They're showing me a car. Um, since I don't drive, this has got nothing to do with me. <coughs> the car, in my experience over the years, always denotes that even though you may look at almost setting down, this is what I'm going to do, this is where I am, <coughs> and I'm going to get this venue sorted, it's all good. But because they show me a car in, mo in motion, what they're saying is also allow yourself to expand your world and go to other places even if it is only occasionally to get your energy there okay so that was april 2021 we're looking at the star sign of Librans. may 2021 here we go okay it had to happen at some stage because you're a very spiritual person um, and you have been busy all throughout January to, to, to April, you will have, very, very likely, neglected your own issues. And also, the way I feel, the people, this is how the universe works. I record this. I ask the guides for whatever they can tell me. Right? Then I just tell you, which is what medium means. I'm just the guy in the middle. I'm just the man in the middle of a complicated plan. Singing again. BGs, love them. Lucky for you, I didn't do the high voice. And I won't. <laughs> what the guys are saying is because you were busy arranging your future, and my, the way they show it to me is that that's how this works. And I said, you know, I record this. Obviously, non spiritual people normally don't come across these videos unless their girlfriend tells them, you have to watch this. This is really good. It could help you. And then they still watch this. Like, Who is this guy? It's weird. Yeah. Okay. So in my experience, it is normally, well, it's not, it's not normally, it is spiritual people, people who are on a journey, people who deal with things differently, who, who work with guides, who work for the betterment of everybody. Um, that type of people, the people I actually like most, because the, who I really like the most on this planet is animals. Mm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and they're saying to you in May, this is the time where you need to take some time out some me time to acknowledge whatever pain still sits inside here. They're putting my hand to the sternum. The sternum is the place where rejection sits. So wherever you felt like, whoa, I had to come or I came all this way and there were loads of people over the years who told me, oh, you can't do this, that's just silly. And now I have proven them wrong. And the important thing is, you don't have to tell them. You don't have to send them an email, put up a weakness like, proved you wrong. No. Know that sometimes the worst people you're being sent are teachers. Well, I don't mean the worst people you're sent are teachers. <laughs> the worst people that, are, that, are you, that you are being sent are your teachers. They're teachers for you. <clears throat> Careful how you phrase it, Tom. <coughs> so this is the month to acknowledge when people told you you can't do this. The sentence that comes to mind, watch me. Right? And you did. And you have achieved it. Right? So look at your achievements in May. Be proud, brightly, brightly, brightly. <laughs> be proud. Right? Enjoy the fruits of your labor, even though it is early yet. You may not have that many things yet, but it is good to acknowledge it. At the same time, the most important thing uh, for May is for you to heal. Take time out to heal, because what's happening if you don't in May is that you have too many things to juggle, too many events and, 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 and things to juggle and so you're losing the objectivity to juggle them well 
and that makes no sense, right? That was you, May. <coughs> Excuse me. We're looking at the star sign of Libra now going into June, June 2021. Let's see what the guides have got for that year. <laughs> Bloody hell, you are deep, aren't you? <laughs> In June, what the guides are saying is the healing isn't over. They're still asking you to acknowledge, see, the, the feeling that they've given me to give you, to give to you, is that it was mainly situations where, where, where you were being, where you were, where? can't talk, where people made you feel less. They didn't trust you. They thought you're just an oddball and what you do has no future. <sighs> the majority of people, therefore. And you had to sort of be isolated and, and just go your, go your distance, go the distance by, and by yourself. And you did it, right? But it has taken its toll and the guides are saying is it's still time in June <clears throat> to allow it to heal. And that's why it is important to mention this. <clears throat> because in May and June, they gave you the bear, which is all about deep healing, right? And in June, look what you get. This guy. I don't know, you can't see it. Yeah. The wolf. You got the wolf. And the wolf tells you, you're still in charge. Just because you have weaker moments where you feel like, whoa, what's, what's going on? Um, it's not weakness to heal. It's not weakness to have a good cry over things that literally hurt you. You have every right to let that go. right? And that's what the guides are saying to you. And you will still be in charge. You are still in charge. Life is good. Things are on the up. But allow yourself to look at your healing and heal. Right? That was June. Looking into July. Okay, <clears throat> July 2021 for the star sign of Librans. We already mentioned that in the last two months, May and June, you had to heal. And even though you're coming out of the necessity to heal, at, the po at this point in time, in June 2021, you may feel a bit boxed in. Things are not quite working so well. And, and what the guides are saying to you is, well, in that case, if you feel things are not really working, make sure you don't chase anything. You have the elk, which is an animal with antlers, and every time you have antlers, um, you are fully protected. Right? <coughs> really important. I get another message from my guides, my guides, which has to do with my memory banks, because obviously I'm the guy in the middle, so they use my memory a lot. <coughs> and they ask you in June to be a bit silly, because... When I worked as a social worker in the mid-2000s in a place called so Dolphin House in, in Ireland, where I met the most amazing people, I, wore, I worked in a little after-school club, and we took the kids out to some sort of a Christmas thing, and um, it was for young kids. And I remember there was someone, they had all these reindeers there, and someone was saying, show us your antlers, 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 show us your reindeer hoofs, hoof, hoof, right? And... All the kids thought like, <laughs> and I just, I just pissed myself laughing. To the extent that about, you know, for, for another six months, I would annoy the kids by going into the, in, into the after school club where they had to do their homework and I was supposed to help them. <laughs> help them. I was like, show us your antlers, antlers, antlers. Show us your ready hoof, 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 hoof. Okay, what I'm trying to say when this energy comes back, it, 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 it yes, I am weird, but... The reason why the guides give this to me, because now it cracks me up and it shows me to be super childish. And yet, this is not my message. I'm doing Librans right now and they're giving me this for you, for July. They're not asking you to run around and go like, oof, oof. What they're saying to you is, because the elk is saying to you, have a rest. Things will be fine. Use the time that you have while you're resting a little and do some, some happy stuff, right? Dance around your kitchen. If you're a child of the 90s, um, you know, you grew up a teenager in the 90s, why don't you put on some Spice Girls? Right? If you're a child of the 80s, awesome music back then. Right? So there's always something you can do. 
if you're very young, if you're much younger, I haven't got a notion of what was hip at your time. The point I'm making is use what you used to listen to when you had not, not a care in the world and listen to it as if you had no care in the world. So that's important in July to, to be a little bit more with, um, connected to your inner child, right? Here we go. <laughs> so, see, that all makes sense to me. <coughs> because normally after the overall energy, I go right into the reading. And then this morning, I sort of like, let's just film this where I'm on the sofa and pretend I'm really tired. And then I take it to the kitchen. My plan was to make coffee here. But um, the, my, my, my cat Fidget doesn't like that stand, so I had to hire it up a little so he doesn't freak out. So even though you can see now it's a kitchen, whatever I had planned, like, you know, make myself a coffee, talk to you a bit more relaxed, wait isn't happening but it just shows you how my silliness okay bed wake up coffee right sometimes it doesn't work and that's another message uh, already we are in, in august it's not important if everything works just go there lightheartedly so one of the messages for um august for Libras is to be lighthearted, and it is important because come august now what happens to uh, to Librans a lot in August is now communication isn't working so well. There will be times where you have to re-explain your vision. If you are not that person, then it's time to rethink whether or not you want to work with someone. Right? It's a different thing to explain to them. No, no, no. That's that was what I thought would happen here easy or you have to explain the whole shebang so if you're not that person and it's like well you know what i couldn't be asked i said it twice right even though three is a charm what they're saying to you is make make choices then about if you want to work under these conditions or not but no matter what you do in august communication is a bit halted doesn't work so well and yet it doesn't matter because the card that you have for August 2021, for your Librans, and again, we are still with business. Business is a really weird word. It just means like your dreams that, that, that give you the life that is better for you. So far, I haven't heard anything about love. That doesn't mean you're not deserving love. They're just not talking about it. So I can't tell you if, if you're in a great relationship, good relationship, or if a relationship is coming, because the guys just don't tell me. Going back to August, you have the doll's sheep. And the doll sheep is what I call a money cut. Because the doll sheep is on top of a really steep cliff, doesn't fall. And you have antlers around the ears. Who has your antlers? Antlers. No, no, not antlers. Horns. <laughs> see, not visit. <coughs> so as you can see, the sheep has antlers. And they're going <coughs> this way. So pay attention to what is being said around you really really important just pay attention it's not a month august is not a month where things are not working it's just a month where you 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 say something it can be misunderstood if that makes sense <coughs> so you have to be a bit more um aware that this is happening in august that people misunderstand and i also get the feeling there will be people who don't really listen they're just here to respond with their own things not a good idea right so that was august going to September. Before we do this, I just need to uh, switch this off a little bit because I'm getting a cough and I just need some water. Okay? You will never know this. So, going into September 21 for the star sign of Libra. Let's have a look what 21 has to say for Librans. Wow. You got the mountain goat and the red fox. The mountain goat is another animal that says to you, 2021 will work for you with regards to wealth, with regards to also um, knowledge. You, you accumulate new knowledge this year, you study new things, they will all serve you in the future. This is a very good year um, to stabilize you, both financially as well as, as mentally and um, knowledge-wise, okay? <coughs> so in September, that's your focus is uh, not to overthink but to realize how much progress you have already made and um, and go for it because the other animal that you have in September is the red fox and the red fox is telling you you're an old soul nothing that life throws at you 
is a problem because you have been there before, you have overcome so many things and you will just manage, okay? So that's that for September. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm recording this video in December 2020 and my asthma is quite bad. And now that the weather gets really cold, every time I go out, it takes me forever to sort of stabilize my throat. Seeing a specialist this week. <coughs> so that's that. Going into, into October, we're looking at the star sign of Libra. In October, you have the fox again. So that to me suggests that come, come September, October, you feel like, wow, where am, I, where am I going? So there will be difficulties. And all the guides are saying is, have faith in your own ability. You are awesome. You will manage. Okay? Really, really important. So manage it. You will be fine because you have the tiger, which is an animal with, you, with unique stripes. There's no two tigers. You are unique. Don't be afraid of your uniqueness. I'm a big animal lover. Everybody who knows me knows that. If a tiger was in this kitchen, I wouldn't be. Right? <laughs> so people won't mess with you in October. Right? And you can't be messed with. And it's not because the tiger can be aggressive. It's because the tiger has a lot of stamina. Which is his biggest um, strength. Is to have that much stamina. He just gets through stuff like there's no tomorrow. So that's what the guys are telling you for October. Not to worry, stop worrying. Really, really important, right? And intuitively speaking, <coughs> excuse me, even though there were a lot of ups with regards to financial stories, don't define yourself by, by, by um, the amount of work you do, even if you do it well, and therefore, you know, you get paid for it, which you should, right? Stop working for free people. Right, really, really important because if you go to the cinema, they're not going to let you in, right? Um, really important. Uh, I have this thing about you know uh, spiritual people. Um, you know, this is what I do for free. I give you these videos every now and then. I'm I'm a guest on a radio show um, where I do uh, readings for people. Not going to charge that. I go live on my Facebook page. Not going to charge for that. If you want my time, you have to book me. And I know it sounds a bit egotistical, but the point is, it's not egotistical. I am self-employed. This is my livelihood, if that makes sense. And so um, the reason why I bring that up in October is because my feeling is that people will take you for granted and say like, oh, maybe you can do this. Any chance you could lower the price for this? I'm having a bad time. Or maybe even someone asks you, it's my birthday. Can I have a free reading? You can fuck off for free. Sorry about the swearing, right? That doesn't entitle you to ask me for a birthday present. I notice they're all throwing this at, at you. <coughs> through me, that makes sense. <coughs> but the feeling is that people will be quite cheeky in October and it's time for you to say like, no, go away, right? Okay, and when I, when I say don't go away, that doesn't mean go away and go away. It just means like, you know, pay attention here, right? It's rude of you to ask me to do things for free because you worked for this, right? You went to different places to do all these things, right? You, you studied to be in the place where you are and people don't see it, right? And it's not important that they see it, but it is important that they <laughs> that they get it, right? You are valuable and in this world, right, they pay you because no matter how spiritual you are, we have created this world or maybe our ancestors did, who knows, <coughs> where no matter how nice I am, someone asks me for rent, Right? And I need to eat. I actually overeat a lot. Right? <coughs> Doesn't sound good, does it? Sorry. Okay. I have uh, some more water. And I'll be back in a minute and then we do November and December. Hey, Libras, I'm back. <laughs> We're looking at your star sign months by months by months in uh, 20, for 2021. And, um, we have uh, done everything until October. The feeling that I get is because I can tell that I'm quite forceful 
in the way I talk, which is normally not all I do. I can be firm but not forceful and yet the guides urged me to be forceful. What that means is 2021 is the year where you really, really, really um, assert yourself and it is important that you do, right? Looking at your November, Yeah, awesome. <clears throat> in November, what the guides are saying is be calm, use your feminine energy, right? Be more loving. And you will be fine because you have the frog. The frog is in Vamphibian. It can live on land and on water. And that's the message. No matter what life throws at you, it doesn't matter to you. You will not only adapt, but you will thrive. So the feeling that I get is for November, because you have worked all year to make things work for you, now things get wider. Now more opportunities are coming in. This is a really good business year, um, a really good year for, for doing and going after what it is you want. That's, I think, the main message here f throughout the year for Libra, right? If that makes sense. <coughs> I'm really sorry that they haven't uh, said one word about relationships. Having said that, the overall energy that precedes this bit of the reading. I think they're mentioning something about there. I can't remember how this works is I work here, the guides tell me something, I tell it to you. Once I recorded it, I will just forget it. So I have to watch the same video to have a look at what the overall energy is like. And then I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna watch the Pisces video, which is my star sign for 2021 to get heads up just the way you are. Just the way it is, right? <coughs> <coughs> so your November is where the people, where the guides are saying to you is, you will be fine, you can diversify, and no matter what life throws at you, you will be fine. And for the rest of the time, because you have to hawk again, go with the flow, right? You don't have to push anything. You don't have to be pushy at all. Going into your last months for uh, the year 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Libra, and we're now in December. And this is awesome. In December, your spirit animal guide is the raven, which is about magic, illumination. Now you are being there. You are being seen. You have arrived. There's no destination because it's, you're on a journey, right? So don't think this is as good as it gets um, because you still have a lot of other things to accumulate teachings-wise. So if you, if you are a person that says, like, oh, I'm going to have that place that, that answers all my prayers, it may, but sometimes it's good to leave your haven and go somewhere else, work with different energies, okay? <clears throat> so in December, you are being seen. The whole energy of the year, pushy energy, for sure. Everything is paying off in December. So enjoy your Christmas 2021. Really, really awesome. And then, remember every time I talk about, let's just say the raven, it's, it's called an animal deities. And look what you got. You got all animal deities around you, plural. So what the guides are saying is you're fully protected, fully surrounded by your guides in December. You cannot go wrong. Everything will be fine. Therefore, awesome months to manifest. Right? <sighs> Okie dokie. That's all we got. Enjoy your year. And please subscribe. Really, really important because there's also um, weekly videos that we're doing every now and then. Well, hopefully more than now and then i try to do them regularly but it depends on how busy i am and how bad my my voice is <clears throat> point is i was asked oh you know isn't that a good idea uh, to 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 do this and i said oh, yeah okay i give in it's probably a good idea and, and i thought and i think it is a good idea but this is not what i normally do normally i have a, a guest most of the time and we're looking at at videos or readings or times in a weekly on a weekly manner because then you can go deeper if that makes sense, right? So these are still out there. So please subscribe, right? Uh, find the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel, be up to date with anything and everything um, energy and star sign readings does, right? Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Bye-bye.